The Northman actor Alexander Skarsgård spills the beans on the incredibly ridiculous Hollywood culture. This is absolutely epic stuff here, and I can't wait to share with you guys what he has to say in this interview that he held. It is fantastic, and we need more actors like Alexander Skarsgård coming out and um, exposing the truth about Hollywood. This is fantastic, and I, I, I always appreciate it when there are some of those actors who have the courage to step forward and call out Hollywood and expose some of the things about Hollywood that a lot of us have um, had suspicions about, fears about, or even, um, you know, pretty 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 much confirmation about but then you hear coming straight from an actor like alexander skarsgård who is not a small actor he has been in a lot of big uh, big films recently um and now he's going to be in the film that's coming out this month called the northman which i'm very excited about i love viking history all of that type of stuff so i'm very excited for this film i'm a big fan of a lot of the the work that the scars guards do everything from stellan scars to his to his sons alexander bill um all of them have done great work and i'm very interested to see what this film is going to be about but let's go ahead and take a look at what alexander scars has to say about hollywood and not just Hollywood, but celebrities. The Northman actor Alexander Skarsgård recently spilled the beans on what he described as the incredibly ridiculous culture in Hollywood. Let me, uh... Let me mute that real quick. While Skarsgård's comments might not surprise many, it is somewhat refreshing to hear actors criticizing the morally bankrupt culture of Hollywood. Boom, that is exactly what it is. Skarsgård's comments come in an interview with the Sunday Times while promoting The Northmen. He began saying, the industry is incredibly ridiculous. This is coming from a big actor calling out the hand that feeds him. That takes... That takes some bravery, I'm not going to lie. From there, he elaborated. In meetings, people are really insecure and eager to please, but it's a strict hierarchy. People at the top say something is good, people fall in line. And we see this all the time in Hollywood, right? We're seeing that right now with a lot of the woke agendas that are being pushed by Hollywood, where if you don't ascribe yourself and preach those same woke agendas that they want you to preach, then you are basically shunned, blacklisted, or you won't get as much work, all of this type of stuff. The elites have a very specific, uh, mission they have a very specific goal and an agenda in mind for what they want to accomplish when they are pushing these types of woke agendas and ultimately at the end of the day it is about the destabilization of society that's what they are after because they are pushing marxist agendas but with all that being said let's continue he didn't stop there he went on to say also menial trivial bullshit stuff becomes very important to people as an actor the values values the value place on how important something is can become laughable to me like this is pretty based not gonna lie like <laughs> this is pretty based for a hollywood for a hollywood actor scars guard would also comment on his own wealth saying i live an incredibly privileged life i don't really have to work i've made enough i could retire which is extraordinary and i just want to compare that to so many of these actors that we've been seeing recently who are multi-millionaire actors who continue to complain about how hard it is in hollywood like we we even heard whoopi goldberg freaking wiki whoopi goldberg say that recently where she was like it's we we have to still collect the check like everyone else it's so hard yeah okay whoopi whatever yeah okay so i appreciate the fact that he at least is acknowledging that you know as an actor he he has it pretty good I, I have a lot more respect for that than these actors that are continuing to whine and snivel and complain about their massive wealth and pretending that they have it hard, but they're in the same boat as the rest of us. Yeah, okay. He continued on, but I don't feel the need to broadcast that with expensive clothes or cars. That radiates insecurity. He stated, when you see somebody with a million dollar watch, that's peacocking. It can feel like they're overcompensating. Man, he is going in hard right now, and I love it. 
So anyway, then he goes on to talk about the Northmen film. It's a film that I'm pretty excited about, so go check out more information about that if you want to. I'm definitely going to be talking about it in one of our weekend live streams with Epic Mike and some of the other people. So make sure that you stay tuned for that on Saturdays at 9 p.m. EST. So with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll talk to you in another video soon. Bye.